into the single digits. Now, future view. Let's take us through today. Pretty quiet. We'll see more clouds really building on in as we head through the overnight hours. But as we get towards tomorrow morning, this is 6:30 a.m. I do think we'll have some pockets of snow showers developing. I think we'll see a little bit more than what this is showing and just a little bit farther south. But primary locations to see some light accumulating snow will be more favorable in our northern counties. Be aware we could get some pockets of snow a little farther south, and that would create the concern for some additional slick spots in the morning. Really more favorable snow chances come as we head into the overnight hours Thursday night on into Friday. This is 9 p.m. So 9 p.m. and beyond tomorrow expect snow showers to really be developing lasting into early Friday morning. And then as you're heading out for that Friday morning commute, we could see a couple inches of snow on the ground as we get into the later morning hours and afternoon. We should be mainly dried out, but I do still think we'll have a few lingering pockets of some snow showers in a few locations. So as I said, overall snowfall totals more favorable about one to two inches, but I do think our northern counties could see a little bit higher and that is on into Friday morning and then we're really going to be focusing on that cold. So temperatures today mid 20s near 30 tomorrow and then that high drops back down to the teens on Friday down to 15 for a high on Saturday. A few flurries possible in the morning and then actual air temperatures by Sunday morning looking to be near or just below zero. And then as we get into next week, we climb above freezing 37 on Monday, even 40s with rain.